Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Club.com exclusive figure subscription service Wave 7. This is the 13th mystery figure, and this is Hollow Point. So, very cool looking figure. Uh, again, so the way that this figure subscription service worked is uh, basically you signed up and subscribed to get 12 figures, and then if you actually signed up for the entire 12 month run, you got an actual bonus figure thrown in there. That's the 13th one that was not part of the original 12 set, and that's kind of where this guy comes in. So, pretty cool looking. Um, I don't actually know much about the background of this particular character, so y'all are going to have to chime in in the comments section to let the world know where this guy is hailing from and you know, what his tie is. Where did they come up with the inspiration for it is a better way of asking that. Drop those comments down below and let us know that because I ain't got no idea. Moving on, we have this really nice looking package here. Uh, I've got some cool artwork on the side here. Flipping it over to the back, we've got the uh, blown up artwork along with the actual card itself. And you can go ahead and pause it at any time right now and uh, go ahead and read through that if you would like. Again, it's uh, G.I. Joe Club exclusive, Wave 7, figure 13. So they should really put like mystery figure on here somewhere in a big splash. But uh, at any rate, this is very cool. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Uh, there is another thing you should be aware of. So if you're uh, picking up this particular figure uh, on the secondary market or maybe just haven't got around to actually looking at your figure subscriptions yet. Um, I'll get to that in a second. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, pull this guy out. There's a little extra thing that y'all need to be looking out for. But uh, anyways, there is a Force Recon Operator Hollow Point. Let's see here. So we've got a little bit of tape holding things together here. So let's go ahead and uh, cut that off first. And the bipod here. That's probably it. Nope, there's a little bit more up here at the uh, stock of his rifle. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. We've got a cool assault rifle. We have uh, whatever this thing is. This uh, extra silencer barrel extension maybe yeah we'll call it a barrel extension we've got this cool tripod bipod sorry there's only two of them we've got the figure itself and we've got this cool case for I'm assuming a larger sniper rifle inside of it, which we will open up here in a moment and take a look at. And we also have the figure stand. Uh, so before we zoom in, what I'm going to point out here it has to do with this right here. So as you can see here, uh, the actual figure stand itself says Hollow Point. Uh, the Fun Pub kind of screwed up and uh, that kind of got out. But <clears throat> what they did do is they went ahead and sent out a replacement. Came in this nice padded envelope here. And inside is a replacement figure stand. That is cool. They didn't have to do that, but uh, Fun Pub is a good company. they uh, they, they looking out for us. So we get the updated, corrected version of the figure stand hollow point. So we'll look at those two individually here in just a second. But uh, if you're on the collector's side of things and are looking to try to complete your collection, uh, you are going to have to try to track down this updated version of the battle stand as well. as And make sure you get the, uh, the gooped up one as well. <laughs> so two stands you got to look for. We'll go ahead and uh, zoom in now to take a closer look here. So starting with the figure stands, uh, this one is the original messed up version, uh, but we have the standard G.I. Joe 
raised logo on the top, two foot pegs, you got the character code name on the front, Hollow Point. And that's not how you spell Hollow Point, that's Hollow Point. Beyond that, it's just a standard Hasbro SAC 001D 2007 Hasbro made in China. This says 81141, and there's a number three over here, and a CE there. So that's the original one that came in the actual carded figure. The replacement that the Fun Publications Incorporated sent out as a replacement has the same raised G.I. Joe logo, two foot pegs, but they've corrected the code name to be Hollow Point. Past that, we've got uh, the same everything on here. The only difference that I can spot is the fact that this, uh, the uh, Carded version came has this little stamp on it that says 81141, whereas the new updated version doesn't have that little stamp. Don't know if that matters to anybody or not, but uh, just be aware that you do have two different versions of the actual battle stand. It's up to you which one you want to actually display it with. I would probably go with the one that had the right name on it, Hollow Point, but uh, not that big a deal. <laughs> Uh, moving on to the figure. Let's see here. Let's start with the assault rifle. This is one of those really cool, very detailed uh, assault rifles. Uh, again, I don't know model numbers or anything like that, so drop a comment down below. Let us know what this is modeled after. But you can see there's a lot of detail work on this thing. Looks really awesome. Very nice. We also get this cool... Uh, attachment thing here um, we're going to say it's a barrel extension because it uh, looks like it'll fit over top of the barrel and it looks pretty decent like that so when you add that it's got like a suppressor whatever you want to call it there so I'm gonna say that's what that's for and it looks pretty decent that way we also get this cool bipod which uh, can't actually attach to this particular rifle so it must be used for something else right which means that maybe that will be too but uh, you get that anyways we also get this cool rifle bag got the usmc stamped on the front of it you've got an extra attachment point here for backpack stuff You've got the backpack peg there, so this will fit into his back peg very easily, and he can carry it around like so. Then we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. It does have hinges and little latches on it, so just kind of pop those open. Somehow, see if I can do this without uh, dumping all this stuff everywhere. I've not had a good luck with these latchy things recently, so bear with me while I figure uh, this out. There we go. So, pop those latches off, and you've got all this cool stuff going on inside here. We'll go ahead and remove this and see what we have. So, you, you see all the imprints on side, uh, inside that case there. Very nice looking. Uh, we get a cool scope here. And we get this really cool large weapon, sniper rifle. Uh, the actual scope itself kind of fits on here. You've got uh, two peg holes at the top. And you've got the two pegs for the scope itself. You just line those up and just kind of press it in place. Like so, then the actual stock itself kind of just uh, articulates backwards here. And you've got that extended stock there. The bipod itself attaches up here to the front. Like that. And then in theory we can also grab this barrel extension and uh, it fits over top of the barrel like so. And looks pretty dang awesome. 
Uh, luckily, the actual barrel extension can fit on either weapon, uh, but it's probably meant to go on this one. Uh, he just doesn't have anywhere to carry this with, so that's why that was loose in the case. But um, Anyways, we got some decent detail work here on the actual sniper rifle. So, very nice looking. The clip is non-removable. Sometimes you can pull those out, but not this one. But beyond that, it's a very cool looking uh, weapon here. And it does fold up and compact back up and fit into the uh, case very easily. So it's a nice little touch there. So there's an accessory. Past that, we still have a little bit more on the figure itself. We've got a nice knife on the side here in its sheath. Uh, kind of a standard boot knife issue here for most of these Joes. It's in a solid color, no extra accent colors. But some nice detail here on the hilt. And you can see the blood groove there on the blade itself. Nice little accessory. And I think that's it for this guy. Yep, that's it for this guy. So, moving on to the figure itself. We've got some interesting detail work going on here. Uh, his flak vest is a little plain. He's got these big pouches everywhere. Some cool gauntlets on his side. Uh, these are basically the same thing we saw with low light. Nice sheath on his side there for the knife. Um, some decent detail work on the back of his jacket or vest. And he has this sculpted hat on there that's uh, non-removable. Very nice, though, uh, facial sculpt there, except uh, his hat is sitting a little bit high on his head for my taste. But uh, still works pretty well. Looks really nice on there. Has the nice Joe logo on it. And overall, it looks really nice. Very good. Articulation-wise, the head does spin 360 degrees and has just a little bit of up and down motion. Not a whole lot. He does uh, kind of look like he's looking down a little bit because of the way his head is tilted. Uh, but the eyes and everything look really nice on this guy. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joints. And we've got the swivel and the rocker here on the wrist. So nice extra articulation there. Very cool looking. Pop his arm up there. We do have the standard chest twist. And we get a little bit of that ab crunch feature. Not a whole lot. It's a little bit limited there, but not too badly. Standard T-hook at the waist and hips. Double knee joints. Uh, swivel and a rocker there on the ankle. So all in all, very nice, very cool. All in all, these vests always kind of pop off. So I've kind of stopped paying attention to that. <laughs> But yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. He uh, ends up doing a really good job of whatever he's doing here. So yeah. On his uh, left side, he actually has this uh, little doodad thing on his uh, leg. What you can do is you can actually take this uh, sniper scope off. And it will actually attach to this piece here. Let's see which way it needs to go here. I don't guess it matters, but uh, anyways, you just kind of line those peg holes up and uh, you can kind of peg it in there if you want to keep it on his side. Uh, they sometimes work better than other times. There we go. Well, with a little bit of work, you can get it to uh, peg in there pretty easy. There we go. The large piece needs to go to the bottom side, and then it works pretty well in that case. But uh, So you can pop that on the side of his leg there, uh, and then you know, it doesn't really help for most anything, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, throw his knife back on the, his uh, sheath there on the side. Um, the bag itself will go on his back pretty easily. Then you have the choice of whether or not you want to have him carry the large rifle in the bag or open and then he still has 
access to his large uh, or uh, assault rifle. <clears throat> Sorry. So he can hold all of his accessories and all of his weapons and uh, looks pretty awesome doing it. Snap that back together. So yeah, this is a really cool figure. They've done a really good job with this. Uh, again, it's kind of based on the uh, same sculpt as Low Light, which is uh, one of the really better figures in the line here. But uh, this one turned out really good. Uh, they did a great job with it. So it is the mystery figure of this set. It's the 13th figure. So uh, because it didn't go to everybody, it might be a little harder to track down. But uh, I do think it's... It's a good figure and it's really worth trying to get it. Again, be aware of the fact that we do have two of these battle stands to contend with. So if you are a completist, that might be an issue. If you don't really care, then it won't matter and you don't really have to track that down. But uh, I do appreciate uh, Fun Pub sending out that replacement. So yeah, kudos to them. Hollow Point's a cool figure. Track him down and uh, see if you can snag him up. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of the mystery figure for Wave 7, Hollow Point. Uh, if you'd like to see anything specific in future episodes, let me know that as well. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Be on the lookout for more awesome videos coming down. And uh, check out some of our previous videos to see if there's anything out there that catches your eye. Share us with friends and give us a thumbs up if you're digging what we're selling. And, and until next time... Yo, Joe.